Hi everyone! My name is Sachabi and today I want to tell a story about my own convenience store. I am a full-time Twitch streamer and you probably wonder why and how did it happen? <laughs> so here's my story. When I was at 28, I used to be an office worker. Then one day the company went out of business and I was forced to lose my job. Suddenly, I got a lot of free time and I had to do something. I felt like I won't ever have that much free time in my life if I get another job. So, I wanted to enjoy it while I could. That's why I started live streaming as a hobby. I also got a part-time job in a convenience store to keep my life going. From time to time, I streamed this on Twitch and I didn't think it would be a problem because I had only 10 to 20 viewers. One day, one of my clips was posted on LSF subreddit and a lot of people found my stream. Suddenly, I had almost 2 to 3 thousand people watching me. It was a miracle. I didn't do anything special, just like cleaning, selling food, and talking to the viewers. But they liked this atmosphere of a small casual Korean store. I worked in such a store before, but it was boring. However, since then I could talk to viewers, laugh, and enjoy my time at work. I got a lot of energy from people cheering me up, even such things as cleaning tables or throwing away trash were fun. But I didn't own this store. One day, my boss told me that she didn't like that I filmed my work. I apologized to her and decided to quit. It was a heartbreak, not only for me, but also for my viewers. I lost a big part of my stream and my life. And my viewers lost something they enjoyed to watch every weekend. I didn't really want to quit this job because it kept me connected to the real world. I thought that full-time live streaming will cut me off and my life will change too much. I was scared. I like this job because very very enjoy and very interesting and I like oh I cry. By the way, I want to keep going. I want um just keep going because yeah, I like this job. So I promised the viewers, everyone, don't worry, we will have our own convenience store. Next year, I want to uh, make Hachu Mart. Yes, convenience store. So I can, I can, uh, my Hachu Mart work stream. I was crazy. I promised something that I didn't think well enough. I didn't think about cost, staff, or location. I just said I'm gonna do it. Since then, everyone was looking forward to it. A lot of people sent me cheering messages. Some viewers even supported me with donations. Everyone was excited. I saved money for about one year and I had to look for people to work together. I had a meeting with my family in October last year and talked to them about Hatchmart. They decided to join and help me. My sister, mother and aunt wanted to work with me at Hatchmart. I was so grateful to them. It's a great blessing to have a family who always support my dreams. In November, I started looking for a location. Since my family wanted to work with me, I decided to open the store in Busan, the biggest city near me. But it was hard to find a good place with the money I have. Then I luckily, I found a good place near a bus stop. This was my first business ever and I thought it would be hard for me to do it. I promised my viewer to open the store in 2020. So in November, I signed a contract to rent this place. It was the best choice in our situation. The pre
previous store owner wanted to leave on December 21st, I decided to get ready that day and open it on December 31st. I found a design company to make me sign board, but I wasn't satisfied with it. That day, I had only 7 hours to decide on the design, so I asked my viewers to help me. A lot of them shared their ideas, gave feedback, and worked on creating new design. Since then, I made a lot of designs with my viewers, including the logo, uniform, and even the ice cream box. I'm thankful to everyone who helped me make it. I don't think I would be able to make it on my own because I'm not good at art. I still can't believe how many people decide to help. It was a miracle. During that time, many things happened. Suddenly, someone broke a window by accident and we had to get a new one. Of course, we fixed it with no problem but with very little time. These things can make you very stressed. I was also worried about the space because my store is very small. Usually, Korean convenience stores have a lot of street space but Hachimart was very tiny so my dad and uncle helped me making more space. It was very busy, but I was lucky to have my family and friends to help me during this time. I also tried a lot of food to choose the best products for Hatchmart, which was actually not a bad experience. Opening Hatchmart was harder than expected, so opening day was getting very delayed. But I tried to keep my promise to the viewers, so the opening ceremony was held on January 5th. Hatchmart is open. God bless Hatchbi and her friends. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. It was a happy time, but we still had a lot of work to do. I still needed to prepare for the actual opening, so I postponed until the end of January. While working, I always dreamed to show my viewers what was going on, and they always supported me. Finally, on January 29, the day has come. This is it. I really achieved what I really dreamed of. This is not just another convenience store. Hachmart is the result of many people working together to make a dream come true. It all started with a girl streaming her part-time job and with the support of the viewers, family, and friends. This girl now has her own convenience store. I am so thankful for this chance my viewers gave me. And I'm so lucky to have my family that has been working with me day and night for my dream. Thank you everyone. Oh, don't worry because... Maybe future is... We are... Maybe... Hachumart?